YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I have a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. What's going on guys? It has been a minute. Check out this super clean pool. Got this thing all ready for the summer months coming. Roxy, you ready? She's ready. She's kind of scared of the water, but I think once it gets to 117 out here, she'll be loving this thing. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, it's been a minute. What's been going on? How are you guys? Um, Today is Tuesday. Uh, I am actually headed out to an event at the Clark County Shooting Complex that I was invited to. Um, a bunch of manufacturers, I guess, are gonna be out there for some people in the um, content creation world to go out there, shoot some stuff, try some stuff out. Uh, the guys from CGS Group are gonna be out there, so I'm actually gonna bring out my Nobeski Space Invader with their uh, Mod 9 full size to uh, just shoot, have some fun. Gonna run some uh, 165 stealths keeps everything super quiet but uh i'm gonna go pick up john real quick from the shop and then we're gonna head down there and see what's going on so let's do that all right guys we are here it is a little windy of course it is because it's that's how it's been this whole last month with all of our range days anyway uh it's actually a private event from a bunch of different manufacturers uh mainly here in nevada but also from uh, neighboring states arizona they came out going to showcase a bunch of products uh if you guys check out if you've never been out here this is clark county shooting complex super far on the north side of town but definitely an awesome view um, anyway i'm gonna head over to the range area bay area i'm gonna start shooting some stuff uh, a lot of manufacturers out here a lot of suppressor companies we're gonna have a fun range day so a lot of free ammo to shoot let's do it That gun is sick, dude. That's a sweet shooter. Last one. Doesn't even move. Doesn't even move. That's awesome. Man. What's going on guys? So yeah, that was a super cool, fun event. Um, it's actually the following week. I have been super slammed, super busy. Um, but if you're seeing this video, I've already posted uh, individual videos from every one of those companies involved at that private range day. They're looking to make it a uh, semi-annual or like every quarter type thing. I hope they do. That was actually a lot of fun. Um, it was cool getting to like meet with the people behind Battle Arms Development. We all know George and the team over there. They've helped out with the channel tremendously, um, as well as like CGS Group. I love running their cans. It was good to meet Chris. Um, but also Rifle Dynamics being a local company, Dead Air Suppressors, <clears throat> meeting the guys over there. Um, it was just, it was a good time, guys. So I uh, had a blast. Um, like I said, it is the following week though. So if you're watching this, um, that little montage has already been broken down into uh, individual videos for each company that we published on the channel already. Um, I actually just uploaded the Battle Arms Development one. But right now, I had something really cool that came in. Check this out. You guys all know this logo. Our buddies over at Vulcan Machine Works. I've only unzipped what they've sent me. I sent out a C2 to them a while ago, and I just got it back with some really cool uh, stuff that Jeremy's going to do. So you guys are going to take the first look with me. Here we go. Ooh, already look at those look at those already yeah man bet you guys can guess what's coming dang look at this let me get this done here yo this looks awesome all right let me set the uh, camera down set it all up and we'll take a look all right guys so here it is the Vulcan Machine Works C2. I have a couple other things we're gonna do. Obviously gonna send these grips out to uh, our buddies over at Extreme Shooters and get them done up because we definitely like their work. They did the original OG STI work. But yeah, look at this. Titanium nitrate barrel, um, titanium nitrate coated, uh, looks like safety selector hammer, got the Atlas trigger in there. I mean, they even did the uh, slide stop there. So this came out super clean. I'm digging it. I've always wanted like a Gucci black and gold. Uh, carry gun EDC setup. Um, not sure on the optic yet. You guys have all been seeing the troubles I've been having with the different plates. I wanted to run the MPS on that uh, XL, but the acro plate doesn't fit it. Um, then I wanted to run the ACSS 509, but because they changed the dimensions of the optic, that won't work either. So it's kind of just been a cluster. Either way, we'll get it squared away, um, figure out what we're gonna put on this. But I think I'm actually gonna go with probably the Vulcan uh, ACSS and the 507C uh, because I mean, Vulcan Machine Works, Vulcan Reticle, kind of just goes hand in hand. So uh, yeah, we'll do all that. We'll get it, 
squared away for a video full in-depth review on this because um, yeah, they did such a clean job on it. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm gonna get back to editing and then I think we might take a visit to see Mikey this week and then I'll end the vlog for uh, this episode. So I'll see you guys then. What's going on guys? We finally made it. Look who it is. What up? Mikey in the flesh. Finally. So, you've been busy, man. Had. Hey, it's been a busy, busy couple weeks. Man. When's the last time we talked? I don't know. It's been a minute. <laughs> it has, it has. It's been a while. He's got some cool stuff. Check out this. Some Ventura branded tracer rounds. Nine millis, 124 grain. Yep. So, we have a cool night vision range day we want to do, so those will come in handy. You're doing 223 as well? Sweet. Yeah. All the tracers. And they're red? Red, both are red. Yeah, nice. Right <laughs> what else been going on? See a lot of suppressors out there. A lot of suppressors, man. Suppressors blown up. We haven't seen a lot come back though. We've only seen like, <laughs> and now it's like six since December. So I have no idea. Honestly, the, the government's doing their thing, whatever they want to do. We've had like the two that we've had come, or the three we've had come back. One was from February, but there's also like, I don't know, 20 people from December who are still waiting. So like, don't, yeah, crazy. don't, I, I, got it's, nothing not, to it's do not on me. I got nothing to do. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, something did come in that I ordered. Uh, this is actually one of the most requested things that we get via email. And it is holsters for the SIG P226. So, Yes, this will finally be going on our website. Uh, I was able to find some on Police Trade-In, got a good deal on it. And we actually fit everything that we do with the actual gun, the actual light to ensure fitment. Um, just to me, it's the best way to do quality control. So yes, molds have already been ordered. You guys should be seeing that up on the site soon. Um, what else is going on, Mikey? I don't know, man. Stuff's getting back, it's getting better and better. Guns are getting easy to get. The e-form stuff is honestly super exciting. Like we're carrying more suppressors now than we ever, ever have before. I saw um, you got a sweet Honey Badger SBR out there. Yeah, yeah, and we're waiting for the Honey Badger S SDs. That's what I'm waiting for. Nice. Um, but yeah, no, things are getting, it's good, it's good. For so now. E-file, does it work with SBRs too or just? Yeah, so any any form four. So nice. yeah, so hopefully it'll, it'll get like. So you there's, can actually buy that Honey Badger and maybe in a month have it. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe. Part of that February crew. Well, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. But but right now, like I think they're they're still working on a lot of like a lot of bumps and they're ironing it out. But it'll be I think in the next like couple months it should be really good. It's way better than it was before. So. Did you see that uh, twist the music video I tagged you? I did not actually. Yeah, I saw check that. that out. Okay. All right. <laughs> We got a lot of love. I'm going to show it to you guys here at the end of this video when I get back at the house, so you definitely get to check it out as well. But uh, yeah, I want to come by, say what's up to Mikey, pick up some stuff. All right, guys. He's got cool new shirts too. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> you guys will see those. Hey, you're right there. <laughs> you guys will like see those as better. well. <laughs> we have not been drinking, I promise. <laughs> so see you back at the house. All right, guys, we are back out the house now. We are getting ready to head out to a flight super early, 7.30 in the morning. That's early for me. Um, I haven't used my alarm clock in like four years. It's great. Um, got to go see Mikey. We have to finish editing those uh, private range events. Um, we'll get that stuff uploaded for you guys to check out. Um, and yeah, we're going to see our friends Bryce and Jasmine uh, in Minnesota. They are getting married. And then that'll start a whole new vlog. But I'm going to end this one here, get that stuff finished up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, as always, thanks for checking out our stuff. If you like to give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to further support our content, check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon squad is a huge reason why we keep making these videos for you guys all to check out, so we appreciate them. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.